So here is a fun project that's very easy to build. I call it a light bulb tree because it's just a sturdy base on the bottom and then there's a whole bunch of these these Y adapters here with a single light bulb male connector and two female connectors coming out of it. So you can hook up two light bulbs to a single socket and you put a whole bunch of those in cascade with each other in some random fashion like this and you get and um, and you also put in all these different colored 25 watt light bulbs that you can get at a hardware store I also got all these these Y adapters at a hardware store you can buy them really cheap at uh, flea markets sometimes too but uh, I splurged a little got a whole bunch of these white ones here and it works very nicely makes very nice decoration and of course it doesn't have to have a random fractal pattern like a real tree it can look a little more like this a little more organized perhaps if you choose and you could use this as a uh, dinner table centerpiece but all these 25 watt bulbs staring you in the face is kind of bright so you can always put a little external dimmer switch on here and you can vary the brightness dim them down a little bit so they're much more easy on the eyes and if you really want to get fancy you can take one of those external dimmer switches and mount it separately like this I got this the uh, the male socket here from an ordinary light bulb. I broke it apart very carefully and kept the the internal glass tube that was in the middle and one of the wires that was inside the bulb. I curled it up here and you know wired everything very carefully so I got wires going down. Got wires going down inside the switch and coming out the top got some more wires and it's all you know very carefully insulated and held together with hot glue so I can just screw this in here and then put the whole light bulb tree up on top of that there we go look at that now it looks even more like a tree because it got we got the you know the tall thin trunk underneath all the branches here and very easily dimmable and also what's very important to wire this thing properly if you make one of these yourself you want to make sure that the the outer screw has uh, is connected to neutral the neutral wire of your 120 volt input and the center conductor that's going to be the hot and make sure that you um, continue that pattern up to the socket here so the neutral is the the outer screw and the one in the middle is the hot the line voltage that you don't want to touch neutral is theoretically safe to touch um, but that of course that only requires that requires that you have one of these things with the polarized plug the neutral is the thicker one right here notice that the one I'm using is not polarized it's just got two thinner prongs on it so basically I'm doing it wrong and you should use a polarized plug do as I say not as I do and please be safe so I hope you like this little project here. Let me know if you make one of these yourself. Thanks for watching. See you next time.